Hey, first of all, in this video, I want to say I'm sorry about all the little clips of a video. I tried to put all these together, but my phone wouldn't let them ed let me edit them together. And also, the various different softwares I downloaded to try to make that happen weren't working. So, instead of wasting more time trying to figure that out, I just thought I'll go ahead and load these in little segments. And hopefully people will bear with me. That's why I wasn't loading videos for the longest time. Because I kept thinking I'll put the whole thing together in one video. Again, this is just a tack coat of paint. This is not the final coat or anything like that. I'm just kind of checking my body work. And also getting a protective coat on the car. Instead of leaving the bare primer exposed. But this car has been stripped to the bare glass and good urethane primer sprayed back on it and it, like I said a couple of coats of paint I know I've gone over this before in other videos but to the ones that haven't seen the previous videos I'm going over it again next I gotta do the hood and the little area behind the hood and as I like the results eventually and I put the whole car together you know, all the body parts together. I will scuff sand the whole car and bring it back with a real good base coat and clear coat. This is single stage urethane paint. I really like it though. And, you know, I can spray it real, it's, it's shining up pretty good and there's no clear or anything in it where I laid it on wet. And I haven't been trying to do that on a lot of these parts because like I said I, this is just like a protective coat of paint see enough kind of light right there but anyway I haven't forgot about it I'm liking the way it looks as it looks better it kind of lights a fire under me to get out of here and put it together this has been, for most people, a kind of depressing summer. I kind of look at it as my Corvette summer because I really hope to get this thing painted and running and driving before the summer's over. And it runs. Still got to hook up my radiator and my other accessories to the engine. The brakes. Are done on it. I've got the Borgeson power steering on it. And instead of bolting all the lights on it and parts to make it drive down the road, uh, I thought I would just, you know, get it paint on it. That way I don't have to take all those parts back off. Interesting thing about this car is I've always had this $500 challenge to get the car running and driving, spending 500 bucks or less. And consider that when I bought it, the 427 engine was all rebuilt back in 1978. I didn't have to rebuild the engine. The trans four-speed Muncie transmission seems to be fine. I got a good deal on my brake calipers and brake lines from Corvette Ben. Believe it or not, I will probably get this 67 Corvette running and driving, spending less than 500 bucks. And as far as paint is concerned, that's real easy for me. That's what I do for a living. I paint airplanes. So, you know, mixing up a little bit of paint, painting one or two panels at a time is nothing for me. And getting the body work ready, that's what I do every day. And eventually, like I said, I'll scuff the whole car down when I like the way all the bodywork looks and put a real nice paint job on it. So guess what? I will probably be able to do the paint job on this car for about 500 bucks in materials. Maybe a little bit more, but for $1,000, I will get this 67 Corvette running and driving and painted. And it's got new carpet, and the interior is livable, I think. So, 
it's a no-brainer. This had to be done. And since this is like my dream car, a 67 427 Corvette, I'm real happy about it and happy with Corvette summer. Anyway, uh, thanks for bearing with my unedited videos a minute or two at a time, or like this one so far, five minutes. As you can tell, if I tried to edit them and figure that out, I would probably never get them loaded. <laughs> it was looking that way. Anyway, thanks for watching.